Hey everyone, how are you today? I am very excited to show you something that I played with and it went very well. So I'm very excited to show you. This is how you can genuinely grungeify all of your um, embellishments. It's so easy. It's so cool. Um, this is like true grunge. This is not inked or painted or anything. This is straight up rusty paper clips and safety pins and these clippy things, bull clips, I think they're called. Um, and I went ahead and added white lace because I love grungy looking lace and I thought, of course, my cheesecloth, let's try that. So um, it's just quite amazing. One thing that did not work, um, it did not do a thing for my large jumbo paper clips, which I was sad about. But I realize now the reason must be because these are not metal. I, they, they must be aluminum or something else because they didn't rust. So that's the, the, what, the first thing you need to know. It has to be metal. <laughs> it has to be metal. Um, and some things did not, um, I mean, they don't look that rusty. Well, this one looks a little more rusty, but let me show you what they looked like originally. See, so it does take the, the shine away. I may put this one back in, um, let it go a little bit longer. And then my mushrooms, which I love, this one, let's see. Neither one of them really did much, but then when you compare it to a new one, it is more shiny. So, um, but I don't know. I'm gonna. I'll probably put these back in as well. I'm gonna set these aside. Um, and let's see. Yeah, the safety pins worked beautifully. I even threw in some of these. Um, I'm not sure what they're called, but uh, for beading, you know, you can make a put beads on here. Ooh, I'm out of focus. I'm sorry. Put beads on here and then have, make a dangly, you know. Um, I thought that might look kind of neat rusted. So I just tried with a couple of those. And my fairy, she's she's a little rusty. Again, not 100%. Um, there must be some metal in there, but maybe it's a combination. I don't know. I might throw her back in too. Oh, and then these. These turned out very interesting. These were bright, bright gold, um, like this, super bright gold. So I threw these in and this one turned out to be more silver. <laughs> it just kind of made it like a, a kind of a matted silver. And this one really rusted up really well. I think that is so pretty. I love grunge. Both sides have a neat Oops, goodness gracious. Both sides have a neat, um, a kind of a neat look to them. So I'm not sure which, I'm not sure what I'll use it for yet, but you know, we'll, we'll go with that. And this one turned out pretty good. This is a, a little charm. It says prayer. The E and the R never were very dark, and I was hoping that would darken up um, with the rusting, but it didn't really fill in. I might throw that one back in too, see if see if the rust can fill in the grooves <laughs> so you can see the word a little bit better. But um, anyway, it's it's so cool and it's so fun. It takes a long time, but the time is not you working at it. It's just you waiting. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, change the angle of my camera and I'll be right back and we'll talk about how to make this happen, okay? Okay, I'm back. So all you will need is white vinegar, hydrogen peroxide, and salt. Um, I just happen to have sea salt. Um, I had seen someone else use just the iodized salt. I don't. I really don't think it matters. And someone had mentioned that they used kosher salt. I don't think it matters. Uh, just as long as there's salt in the mix, I think you're going to be just fine. Um, and then a, I would recommend a glass jar. You can also do a plastic container. Um, just don't do it on a metal tray, obviously, <laughs> because you don't want your cookie sheet to corrode. So, um, I'm just going to use a mason jar because I have a million of them. Um, so here we go. Here we go. First, I'm going to dump in all the stuff that I want. I'm going to, I'm going to take these, um, 
gonna set this back here. I'm gonna take the ones that I wanted a little bit more rusty, put them, put them in there. Um, I'm going to add some more paper clips. And I, you know, I think I wanted more, I wanted more safety pins too, but I forgot to grab those. I'll have to do those later. Cause so I do, I do love how the safety pins look. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add some other uh, things here, some keys. I think that would look really cool, uh, rusted. Now they're not necessarily a bright silver. They're already kind of a nice, you know, matted color, but I'm just gonna try them because why not? If they can get like even more rusty and grungy, even better. And the same thing here with these gear, these kind of steampunky gears. Again, very nice colors, like a, a like a nickel, like a dark nickel and a copper. But I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try, see how rusty I can get them. Um, and then I'm going to add some more materials. I'm so excited. I'm gonna add some more white lace again. <clears throat> I'm going to add some cream lace. It's actually the exact same pattern, so it'll be neat to see side by side the difference. Um, you know, if, it, if the shades differ a bit. Uh, I'm going to add this cool kind of a rope, ropey trim. I think that'll be fun. Um, oh, this cool uh, canvas. That's going to look awesome, I think, rusted. And I'm going to try this burlap. That'll probably look pretty cool, rusty. And let's fold it here. Um, and sorry, silk. I thought maybe, hmm, I'm not sure how much of how absorbent it will be, but I'm gonna give it a try. And then this, I, I'm just this is definitely an experiment. I'm assuming these aren't going to absorb very well because they're kind of synthetic-y. This is not cotton. This is more synthetic, and this is definitely synthetic. But you know what? It's not going to hurt anything. I'm going to throw them in there and see what happens. Um, I'm going to throw a few more charms, uh, ladybugs, mushrooms, fairies. <laughs> Why not? Actually, I'm just going to do all of these, all these little mushroom guys here. Okay. All right. So now, as far as the proportions go, <laughs> when I was researching, I was everyone is doing it differently. So I'll show you my way, which is going to be different again. So um, my my version, my theory is um, more peroxide is going to give you a heavier rust. Um, more vinegar will give you a lighter rust. So since I want heavy rust, I'm going to go with more, uh, more peroxide. So um, let me I'm just gonna eyeball it. I'm gonna do about two parts hydrogen peroxide, and I'm really just eyeballing it because there I don't think there's a science to this. <laughs> and then one part vinegar. I definitely want to make sure everything is um, covered, right? And um, if you leave it just at that, something you can see something starting to bubble. Well, I don't know if you can see it. It's, it it'll have some reaction, but the, the salt is where the magic happens. So, and I'm just gonna eyeball this too. Um, I'm gonna say between uh, a teaspoon and a tablespoon. So I'm just going, <laughs> literally, I'm just flying by the seat of my pants here. This salt shaker does not like to work very well. The hole needs to be bigger. <laughs> Okay, so I'm, let's see, I'll put a little bit more. Okay, there we go. So that's, I don't know, I'm bad at measurements too. I'm bad at math and measurements. I'm going to say that's not quite, that's not a tablespoon, but it's not, it's more than a, t a teaspoon. <laughs> so let's just, let's just go with that. Just kind of go with what, what feels right, right? <laughs> so, okay. All right. So now we're going to, we need to have a lid on it, right? Now keep in mind, because of the vinegar, this could possibly get rusted too if it, if it has much contact with it. Um, I'm not too worried about it because I have a ton of these as well. And this can just maybe be my um, my grunge making jar from now on. So let's just give it a good swirl, give it a good shake. Make sure that the 
salt gets dissolved a bit. Okay. So that's it. That's it. Now we wait for, I'd say at least two hours. So I'm going to just leave this here and I'm gonna go run a bunch of errands. <laughs> and I will come back and we will continue with this fantastic adventure, okay? See you soon. All right, I am back. It has been about two and a half hours, two and a half to three. Um, so as you can see, the beautiful rustiness of what's happening here, and it kind of gets foamy on top too, which is kind of cool. Um, okay, so the next step, easy breezy. I have a little plastic bin here. I'm going to dump. You don't want to rinse it. You just dump it. Um, I mean, you could dump it down the drain, but guess what? I want to reuse or continue using this liquid. And here's the bonus part. Let me just show you what I did with my last batch. I just dyed paper with it. Yes, I did. I did some labels, which I think turned out really neat. And I just did some uh, four by five, I mean, four by six uh, postcards. And um, I let some of the things dry on it, which I think looks really cool. I love it. This one I just dipped in a little quicker. Um, just kind of dipped it in, let it sit just for a little bit, and then pulled it out. And these, I'm not sure this light is really showing you the... Let me, let me adjust. I don't know if that's better or not. Um, and then these, I let them soak longer. So obviously they're darker. Uh, and this one has a little bit of the little, you know, patterns of the things because I, just, I actually set it on top of those things drying. And this one, I ended up setting things on top of the paper. So it's pretty cool. I'm going to do that again, maybe a little bit more strategically this time. So if you want to do this, then don't, don't toss your, um, your liquid. Go ahead and drain it. Get as much out as you can. And this stuff is, um, I mean, it's not going to hurt you if you touch it, but if you don't want to smell vinegary, I think I'm going to use my little, my little pokey tool to kind of control things here. <laughs> I guess I could put gloves on, but that means I'd have to go find them. And I don't want to take the time to do that. <laughs> Is that wrong? I don't know. Am I being lazy? I don't know. Okay. All right. So let me put that there. And let me set this, set this here for now, as long as I don't forget and go to sit down. <laughs> and then I'll have a, a vintage rusty bum. Um, okay, so then what I will do, got just some paper bag, I mean some plastic bags <clears throat> to protect my table. And I'm going to take like, I don't know, two or three layers of paper towel because it's going to be... Mm, that's probably more than I need. Okay, because um, it's going to be, you know, there's there's still some liquid in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and dump the rest of this out. Well, come on, pokey tool. I need your help. The mushrooms seem to like to stick to the bottom. Oh, wow, that one's like really almost corroded <laughs> to the bottom. And my, and my... A ribbon that's actually it actually did take the color more than I thought we'll see once I dab it off we'll see okay so let's let's take a little inventory here don't want my pokey tool to get rusty 
Okay, so the the ribbon is lovely. And honestly, I'm not sure I can tell which one was white and which one was not. So that's interesting. Okay. Um, the burlap definitely changed. Just straight up rust, rusty color. That's pretty. Um, ooh, I love the canvas. <gasps> yes, that's a little more variegated. A little more interesting there. And actually this lace took... This lace took the color too, better than I expected, honestly. <clears throat> not bad, not bad. I like it. Okay. And then, oops, getting some stragglies here. Uh, and then this definitely took it, and I took it unevenly, which I like. And then the sari silk, ooh, that looks pretty too. So, okay, so that's all the fabrics. And then let's see here. My keys didn't do squat diddly. <laughs> they must not be. And my gears, they must be made of something else. Let me get some more <clears throat> paper towel. Ugh, okay. Yeah, they didn't do, they didn't change, didn't change much at all. <laughs> so they they must they must be more aluminum or something. That's that's interesting. That's learn something new there because uh I mean not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. So okay. Although it looks like the copper the copper gears did get grungy and patina y. So that's cool. And the other gold one did as well got copper on that side and even grungier on this side so what i'm going to do is let it all dry because i don't want to wipe anything off because it's going to keep working i'm going to let this dry for about an hour oh and look at oh yay yay remember i said i wanted the i was hoping the prayer the er would fill in more and i think it did i think it did i think it looks more you can actually see the whole word now that's fantastic okay and yet my ladybug got more rusty. The new one did not. Huh, that's interesting. Okay, and my keys. My keys did get more rusty. The big ones, the big one and the gears did not. That's that's interesting. I wonder what they're made of. Okay, and then my paper clips and my safety pins that I added in later. They're not as rusty as the other ones, but again, they're they just need to sit a little bit and uh, it's going to keep working on it. And all my mushrooms didn't, didn't, didn't do much at all. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. What I might do is put them back because I know, I know they can be. Well, the ladybug I know for sure can be. This ladybug didn't, didn't do anything. So, hmm. Ha ha ha. Okay. I'm going to put the mushrooms and the, la the ladybug back. And the the fairy didn't do much either. Even the one that, that, that I put back. I'll put them both back. And the mushrooms. I'm going to put them, I'm just going to put them in this, uh, the plastic bin or tray that I put there. Um, okay. And I'm going to let these dry. But I'm also going to do, uh, I want to do some more um, four by six cards. So hang on, I'll be right back. All right, so I just grabbed a few more, a few more of these. Um, and let me see if I can squeeze all of this on the tabletop here. I'm going to move these over here. Okay. And then I'm going to move this back on the table. Put some of these guys in here. Let me move it around with my pokey. With my pokey. And then um, I'll take them out and let them dry on this rack and um, 
at first, at first I, after I did it the first time around, I'm like, oh no, my metal rack, it's going to get rusty and corroded. Well, clearly this isn't metal either. <laughs> this must be aluminum or something because it didn't get rusty. And it happens to fit quite nicely right over top. So it can just drip right back down into the into the tray. <laughs> so I love it when things work out like that. So let me just make sure these are all covered. And, and this time I'm going to um, reserve, reserve this liquid even, even longer because last time after I did this, I dumped it. But I think what I'm going to do is I won't let these soak as long so that they'll be a little bit lighter. But then I want to kind of splatter more liquid uh, on them so they'll be darker splatters. I like that idea. So, um, but then I'm also going to strategically place, I think, the mushrooms and the fairy and see if they leave a nice um, mark like with like the paper clip, like that paper clip did there. I'm going to I'm going to experiment with that. So, let's see here. Let me pull these out. Pull these out. So, what do I have here? 1 2 3 4 5. Let me go ahead and grab some mushrooms and the fairies and then I'll just have them soak soak longer later because <laughs> I would like them to get really rusty but they're they're just they're kind of fighting it aren't they <clears throat> okay so let me how how coordinated can I be here I don't know oh, oh, not <laughs> not very <laughs> good night okay so let's have that there and let these guys, these are definitely going to be lighter because I didn't let them sit for very long. And I may regret that. I don't know. We'll see. I, but it'll, it'll, the nice, if I do the darker splatters, that'll show up nicely, I think. So let me get them spread out like so. Okay. okay. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness gracious. Okay, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Maybe it doesn't sit on there as well as I'd hoped. And you know what? Since it's not going to corrode, I was afraid of sitting it inside because I was afraid it would corrode. But since I know now that it's not going to corrode, but it doesn't want to sit. <laughs> Hang on. It doesn't want to sit uh, straight either. Good night. It really worked well for me at one point. I think if I just stop messing with it. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. All right. So let's, I'm going to put a little mushroom there on the corner. And there. And there. And then let's do the fairies here and here whoops there okay now i let's see i think i probably splatter the best with a brush i'm gonna just grab a brush like this and dip it in and then we're gonna splatter That works pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. I want to get more around the little charms that I just I'm gonna touch touch them. <laughs> I feel like a a fairy with her magic wand. I'm gonna touch them so that the oh man, son of a nutcracker. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so get that, and then the other fairy just went flying. Here we go. It's not time to fly yet, fairy. Oh, 
Okay, so let me do a little bit more splattering. And I know you can't really see it from the camera angle the way it is right now, but trust me, it's looking good. It is looking pretty snazzy. I like this because I can kind of control a little bit more how, you know, the pattern a little bit. Splatters are a little bit, you know, oops. They're a little bit, um, a little bit wild and free. But there is a little bit of control there. Am I a control freak? I don't, I don't think so. But my husband might say differently. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Okay, okay, I'm going to leave it at that. And uh, clearly, this is not going to behave for me this time. I, I promise it did last time. So, of course, it depends on what what kind of a rack you have. It might fit better. I have a, one that's more flat, but I'm afraid that one actually is metal. <laughs> and I don't want to ruin that. So... I'm going to just go go ahead and put some paper towel underneath for any drippage because I don't want to ruin my table. Not that it would corrode because it's just plastic, a plastic lining here, but I don't want to get it. I don't want to get too messy because this is kind of like, you know, my main, my main space. It's my main drag. So, okay. All right. So we're going to let that dry and I'm going to let the other little charms soak longer. Yep, yep, yep. And um, you can already see the 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 new batch of uh, paper clips and safety pins just sitting here has already started. They've started corroding even more. So I'm just going to let it all dry, put all these ribbons out so they, oh, you know what I was going to do? I'm going to put something on. I think I'm going to put uh, paper clips, no, safety pins on this ribbon. And I know you can't see what I'm doing. Hang on, I'm going to try to move the camera in just a bit here after I get this situated. Oh, yes. Okay, so look at what I did. Can you see? I just placed the safety pins kind of in a little pattern on that canvas. And then I'm going to splatter some more on top. Oh my goodness, this is fun. I love experimenting. Okay, oops. Okay, okay, maybe a little bit more. This is going to be so grungy and delicious. It's grungily delicious. <laughs> okay, now I'm ner now I'm nerding out. Okay, all right, so we're going to let that dry. And I dare say about an hour or so. Um, so I'm going to go do some more errands and chores and I'll be back. Hang tight. All right, everybody, I am back and things look mostly dry for the most part. And I wanted to come come at this angle. I'm going to be hand holding my camera so that we can you can see better <laughs> what's what's happening. So I'm really anxious to see what happened here. So let's let's take a look. Okay, that's faint, but cute. Okay, and it didn't, uh, whoops, that, the mushroom still didn't, didn't get very, uh, grungy, but it did add a nice little effect. Oops, that one kind of must have slid down, but that's okay. And let's see, let's see the fairies. Oh, that's still kind of wet under there. Hmm, can't really tell it's a fairy. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. It still looks interesting. What about this? Yeah, that didn't, that was not exactly uh, 
a successful try, but the little mushrooms are cute. It's a little faint little mushrooms. I don't mind that. Okay, so let's get these out of the way. They're a little bit, of course, these are definitely damp at those spots. So I'm gonna put them, put them away. So now let's, uh, let, me, let me get rid of this here. Sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. It's, I'm, I guarantee you it's gonna be awkward. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just wanted to get that out of the way. Pull this back over here. And let's take a look. I was really excited about this uh, canvas. Well, it definitely left some splotches. I was hoping it would, um, you know, there'd be the shape of the, of the pins. But look how rusty they got. Oh, they got really rusty. So cool. So cool. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with that. And I mean, I like this, I like this a lot, but I was hoping for the actual shape. So you know what I'm gonna do next time? I'm going to, I believe, just put the burlap down flat before I've soaked it, then put the pins on and then spray it down with that same mixture of vinegar peroxide and salt and see how that goes hmm maybe i'll do that and include that in this video yeah i'm curious i have to know now if, if that's gonna work because i think that would look so cool don't you i think it looks so cool okay so the um all the fabrics are still a little bit a little bit damp but nothing that won't dry overnight um, and then these all look pretty fantastic. I'm I'm excited about the the prayer uh, little little dangle because um, that one I hadn't used it for anything because the ER was kind of so faint. It just looked like it said pray, which is fine, but it looked uneven. <laughs> so I like how that turned out. Okay, well I'm gonna dump. Oh, and this, this too. Let's see. Now that it's dry, um, let me see, let me compare it with a piece that was not soaked. Yeah, there's a little difference. Probably not enough for me to, you know, do a lot of this. <laughs> it's, it's not that big of a deal. Um, so anyway, that was interesting to see. And then of course the sari silk. So I'm going to um, just I won't do it one-handed because it's going to be a mess. I'm going to put these on a drier uh, paper towel. And then I'm going to get myself set up real quick to do this canvas again with the um, safety pins. And I'll, I'll probably just use these same ones and see, see how that works. All right. Stay tuned. Okay, so let's continue with this adventure. Um, I've got just the regular burlap here, and I'm going to place the safety pins on here, so it's kind of has a fun little pattern. Let's see here, like so, and like so and of course it doesn't have to be perfect but you know me i'm gonna try to make it perfect <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. okay that's that's good good enough karen okay so what i actually ended up doing um the liquid that was in my tray i just i took a a spare dropper thingy that i had and um just put, just filled this plastic bottle with it. And I think I'm gonna hang on to that and just use it. It'll be handy to have, right? Rather than throw it away. Um, so I'm gonna just use this to spray. There we go. I'm just gonna use this to spray right on here and just let it really, I'm just gonna drench it pretty, pretty good here. And let's see. This guy wants to curl up. 
I don't want to, I'm not sure if this will rust or not. <laughs> I don't want it to rust. Let me put, let me put something else on there to weigh that down. Hang on one second. Let me see. What's kind of, well, you know what? I'll just use my plastic distress ink. There, I know that won't rust. Okay. All right, so it's kind of goopy there. Maybe too much. I don't know. I don't know. Let's, this is just going to be a, a fun experiment. Oh, now this one's wanting to curl up. Okay. All right. I'm picking up what you're laying down. Hang on. That one has, let's see. Here we go. Glass. Glass bottle. There. Okay. So the, hopefully the curling, the curling will stop. So, okay. We're going to have to let that sit for a minute. And I also thought of something else I'm going to show you guys. Um, the, the mushrooms, hang on, let's see, okay, the mushrooms and the ladybug, um, just, I, you know, I had them sitting in there longer. This one is a little bit more corroded, but they just, they're not, you know, they're not just really, really getting rusty and grungy. So I'm going to try, and I don't know, I, I, I could have, I would have bet money that these were metal. But I'm wondering if maybe they're coated with something. So I'm going to take this fine um, sandpaper and I'm just going to like scrub, scrub them. And, and then I'm going to put them back in that solution before I toss it. Um, so we're going to do that. So I'm going to do th that, let them soak again, I'll let this soak for a while, and I'll be back and we'll see what happened. Okay, it's exciting. All right, hang on. Okie dokie, I'm back. I don't know if you can hear, but we're having a bit of a torrential downpour outside right now. <laughs> uh, and we have a tornado watch, so I'll try not to blow away. I just wanted to finish this up real quick. <laughs> so, all right, so here's the big, here's the big reveal. Did it do what I was hoping it would do? A uh, little bit, a little bit, the little heads. Okay, that's cool. I'll take it. I'll take it. I could probably play with it a little bit more and refine it a little bit. Um, let me grab a paper towel. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm not, I'm not mad about that. That's pretty. That's pretty neat. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm excited about that. Now, <clears throat> uh, the I did sand those um, those little charms that were not seeming to corrode very much and I think it did help. Look what happened to the ladybug. It really got much, much better. Um and I haven't even have it had it sit out. I'm just gonna let it sit out. The fairy is still pretty intact. Some of the mushrooms some did better than others. That one's pretty pretty grungy. So anyway there must, they must be mixed. There must not be 100% metal or they're probably coated with something. But roughing them up with a little bit of um, sandpaper did seem to seem to kind of help that. So, so there you go. I am happy with my results the second time around. I was happy with my results the first time around. So um, I just, that's why I wanted to show you guys um, the deal and give you some options. Let me bring some of these things back into the camera. These were, this, this was my first batch of stuff. So cool. All right, and then my second batch, still, some of it's still a little bit damp, <clears throat> just a little bit. But, um, but yeah, I, I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. The keys actually look um, kind of milky. They kind of have like a milky white patina to them now. That's pretty neat. And then the bright, bright gold turned into a beautiful antiqued copper. And then the copper turned into <laughs> a patinaed copper. So yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank you for playing with me. I hope um, you found some of this information helpful and useful, and I hope that you you try it yourself because it really is neat. Kind of feel like a 
a chemist a little bit, you know, kind of playing with the the chemicals and the reactions of things. So, <laughs> oh my goodness, fun, fun stuff. Thank you so much. Please subscribe if you haven't. I'm getting so incredibly close to my thousand subscriber goal. We will have a big fat party when I do and um, hit the notification bell and comment below. Let me know what you think. If you have any any uh, bright ideas, anything to add to this, I would love to hear from you, okay? All right, you guys have a good rest of the day. Bye.